What's going on YouTube? OCD for EDC here. What I got for your face balls today. I've got this package right here. Now, this is a big box, and so I moved the camera up, and hopefully you guys are going to be able to see all this. But what I wanted to do is take a gander at what's in this package, and we're going to uh, maybe assemble it as long as what I think is in here is in here. Uh, knife today, we're going to use the old uh, Benchmade readout. Uh, let's just get into this, and let's see if it's what I think it is. All right, see what we got going on in this package. We got a bunch of paper, okay, yep. It is what I thought it was. Let me get this out of the way real quick. Okay, well this helps out. Let me, I'm gonna move this off the table because there's a box inside a box, just a minute. Okay, now we're down to a much more manageable box. You guys can already see TS Prov. Uh, TS Prov reached out to us, asked if I wanted to check out one of their sharpeners. Of course I said yes. Um, I have played around with one of their older models a little bit. I have never owned one. Um, it's definitely one that I have looked at a whole bunch. And probably if I was going to buy a fixed angle system... Uh, you know, without ever using the one that's in this package, this is probably the one that I would go with, but we're gonna thoroughly test it. I'm gonna set it up right here. Uh, we're probably gonna make this like a three-part video uh, because I'm gonna set the thing up. We'll check it all out, see what all we're working with here. And then I will probably do a full sharpening, okay. All right, so now we got a box inside of another box, which I guess, okay, it was fitting. These come from Russia, so the boxes were like Russian uh, nesting boxes, so that works out. Let's get up in here and see what is what. It was very well packaged. You guys can already see this is the Cadet Pro. Super pumped about this. My expectations are high. Let's just say that. All right. Let me. We're just going to cut these. We've got all the boxes here, guys. All right. Let me rotate this around. All right. This thing's trolling me. Okay. Now we're there. Good Lord. Thought I was going to have to put some hair around this thing to get in this box. Okay, here we go. Let's check it out. All right, hopefully nothing's damaged here. You can see we've got a uh, little, something was trying to poke through there. But let's, uh, there we go. We've got the constructions. And then we've got a bunch of pieces, parts. Those are going to be our stones. We've got a couple of clamps. And just right off the jump, yeah, everything is really nicely machined. The anodizing is fantastic. Oh, yeah, this is going to be great. All right, here's our fixture. Looks beautiful. I'm just going to go ahead and get all the stuff out of the box and then we will take a look at each part and start our assembly. Okay, so this is the heavy base portion. Definitely ate up the styrofoam here. All right, guys, I'm going to uh, get this cleaned up, and I'll be back with you. This is a nightmare. All right, so now I brought you back in so we can see these things a little bit better. Uh, we got this little bag of pieces parts right here. Let me get the book out. Don't want to screw any of this up, but I had to clean up all the uh, shrapnel from the styrofoam. 
And this is what we are presented with. Cadet Pro TS Prov. This thing looks fa fantastic. Um, so let's just get right into it. All right, so it starts out with Russian. Um, so let's see here. Yep, right, yep. Okay, well, I don't speak Spanish. Um, <laughs> I'm just checking to see if they offer any other languages. Okay, so they do. All right. Perfect. So here is the English portion of the book. Very nice. Uh, okay. Yeah. All pretty self-explanatory. Construction. Prepare for work. Uh, working up the rack. Make sure that the rigid fixation screw is tightened to set the rack vertically. All right. It's pretty pretty self-explanatory on how this all goes together. But let's uh, let's check this thing out first. The base is a thick. Actually, you know what? me so 10 millimeter thick steel it's got a really nice uh, serial number uh, tag on the bottom here uh, really nice rubber feet and it's pretty heavy I uh, don't know exactly what it weighs but 10 millimeter thick definitely is steel uh, it's got this really kind of nice rough coated um, uh, powder coat uh, which looks very very nice and then we've got this bill of aluminum piece with some graduating marks here. Okay, so we've got razor blade, like a, a straight razor. Um, looks like a hunting knife, a kitchen knife, and then a pocket knife. So these are your different angles. Um, okay, so as I move this up, this little section right here is moving. I'm going to guess that this is... Still got some shrapnel on there. Okay, so we've got... Oh, you can take that piece on and off, I guess. Oh, I see. I see. I, I see what's going on. All right. So this is going to be spring-loaded, I'm assuming. And it absolutely is. This little button right here. Uh, and so that's going to provide tension back against this arm. This button here is going to lock it in place, I assume. So if I overcome that spring and I push backwards on this, yeah, there we go. Button popped up. That's kind of what I expected. So in the, yeah, storage mode. Okay. So now once you push this back and it locks in, then you can come back here and run this thumb screw up to tighten it. And then that thing is super rigid. Yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful design. I love it. You can keep that thing tight. Oh, yeah. It's super rigid. Okay. Now, if we loosen up this thumb screw, this piece right here, got this really nice bronze insert. Oh, yeah. I mean, the quality of this is just spectacular. It really is. The heim joint here, it's a nice billet aluminum captured uh, heim joint. Really good quality. You know, this is just light years ahead of a kit like the uh, KME. Um, it's just not even in the same sort of class, but let's stick this down in there. Uh, the precision on this, so you got this little thumb screw. The hole is, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. It's really nice. Look at that. Just barely slides down in that hole. So the machining tolerances here are fantastic. I guess it can only fit one way because the track is off-centered in the piece. And we only have gears on one side, so it has to go this way. I'm guessing now I need to, okay, open that up like so. I should probably pull this piece out to do this, huh? There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, the machining on this is just absolutely beautiful. There is, I don't even have it tight yet, and it is rock solid. Oh, this thing is fantastic. Okay. So we can adjust our angle with this knob, and then when I cam this lever over here, that's going to lock it in place. Uh, how beautiful is this thing? Just some, some wonderful engineering going on here. All right, 
right, push that down. And then we're going to put our clamps on. We're going to want the heads of these screws to set up top. We'll take that thumb screw out. These are all machined uh, billet aluminum. The knurling on there is absolutely beautiful. I mean, the, pre the precision machining here is spectacular. Uh, <laughs> so th they've got this area squared out. Uh, it fits beautifully on there. Uh, man, this, th this thing is a pleasure. And then, okay, and we've got the... These bolts are shouldered, so your knurling sticks up off the part, which is, again absolutely gorgeous and then oh yeah okay so this lever brings this in and locks and there is a, a spring in there so can you all right so you can adjust all this so you can hit that lever and that locks it on you can rotate man this thing is really really cool and like i said just you know in comparison to the kme i mean this thing is just it's not even in the same league and we'll talk a little bit more about that once i get this all set up now i think they make or at least i was under the impression and, and I don't know for this one, I know for their bigger one, the one that I used was the older version uh, that was much, much larger than this. Um, and they made a setup that went out to just one clamp. Um, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see how this works out. Now, so this is really straightforward. You're just gonna insert this end into this rod for the extension, like so. Tighten that down. Oh yeah, beautiful. Okay, and then we got some pieces parts over here. I'm assuming one of these is gonna be a little uh, stone carrier holder. We've got a shaft clamp to go on the back side so it doesn't come out like this. So this will go through here. And then this goes on there. Um, I might actually throw a spring back there. We'll see. Oh, and we also got an O-ring. I'll have to look and see where that goes. And then, yes, this is going to be our little rod holder. Don't know where it goes exactly, but we'll figure it out. And then we got a couple uh, Allen keys. Okay, so it looks like this piece is just going to snap over the shaft collar here like so and then it corresponds oh yeah okay so that is how that operates so it's it's got a little forked end here and it just forks underneath that heim joint like so perfect they're using a o-ring to dampen if you bottom out on the the uh, shaft collar here on the back side which is fine. Um, I kind of like a spring there, something you know similar uh, to what's on the front side, but we'll we'll deal with that. So there you go. I mean, it's overall, um, it's absolutely beautiful. Really, really well machined and just fantastic quality. Let's take a gander at the stones. We'll just set this off to the side for a moment. So these are sharpening uh, diamond plates. So we got 150 grit, 220, 400, 600, and 1,000 grit. Beautiful. Let me pull one of these out. That's the 1,000. Uh, so they do have an aluminum backer on them. Uh, very nice. They look great. Let's see what the size of these are. These look like six by ones. But let's take a gander. So yeah, one inch wide, 25 millimeter, 25.08. Um, and then they're going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of about six inches long. Yeah, just it's five and seven eighths of an inch. 
perfect. Yeah, this this is wonderful. I, I'm not a fan of the uh, small uh, like KME uh, style stones. I just can't stand the the four inch uh, stroke. You know, it feels like you're just jerking off a mosquito or something. So that extra two inches of length uh, makes all the difference in the world with every single stroke. I mean, just you know, ask your woman. Uh, but <clears throat> anyway, I should probably keep this clean. 150 grit right there. Love the diamond stones. So now we need to set this up. We've got our little Allen keys here. Uh, we need to set up a stone. Here is the deal. Okay. That holds the the rod beautiful i mean this thing is just beautiful absolutely beautiful all right loving this already and the way that you uh, adjust your angle here is absolutely fantastic it's just it's so positive there's so there's a little bit of slop in the shaft that drives the gear but yeah, there's just no backlash. So the minute that the, the actual part starts to move, um, it is just super tight. So this little bit of movement right here on the thumb wheel is inconsequential. What you actually want, you don't want any movement from this piece to this piece. And the backlash here is just spot on. I mean, they just did such a beautiful job of machining this thing. Yeah, just no slop whatsoever. And then when you cam this lever over man that thing just gets rock solid boy this thing this thing is impressive okay now that i've got it all set up here i'm gonna i'm gonna pull this thumb screw let's just slide this piece out like that i'm gonna set that off to the side i got this loosened up i'm just gonna run it right up on off of here one thing i did want to show you guys which i think is is fantastic so they actually have a little rubber stopper right here and if i could critique the quality just ever so slightly um this thing was put on just a little bit crooked um but the adhesive that's on the back of this is quite soft and this thing moves around easily plus there was a whole bunch of uh, shrapnel from the uh, styrofoam stuck there but they even went as far as to let me get this thumb screw loosened up okay and then we'll release this they even went as far as to add a little rubber stopper so when this is in the folded position in your storage position you know you don't damage uh, that aluminum hitting up against the, the uh, steel with that rough uh, powder coat on there I mean man they just it's beautiful and then there's a steel pin down here I'm assuming that's interfacing with our button so all the wear points on this are not aluminum. Uh, they are all steel. Uh, so, man, it's just, it's beautifully made. It really is, guys. Um, so, yes, this thing is more expensive than like a KME or something. But, my lord, it's, the, the quality here is spectacular. So that's what you're paying for. Oh, yeah. I mean to tell you, I mean, honestly, guys, <laughs> this thing is amazing. All right, real quick. So this is my first experience with this particular sharpener. You guys saw how long it took me to set up. Uh, just a couple of minutes. Let's, um, you know what? I've got a knife sitting here that needs some sharpening on it. I'm just going to pull this off for right now. Uh, let's see. And it might be a good test for these clamps, too. Uh, because it's a little guy. Let's see what, we're, what we've got here. You know what? I think I'm just going to use one clamp here. And I'm sure there's probably a way to set up just one clamp on this thing. Uh, this is just the kit that they sent. Uh, TS Prov does a phenomenal job. You know, one thing I didn't check, I wonder if there's any rubber in these clamps. Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's just aluminum in there. 
and that's fine. Um, okay. Now we're a little bit off kilter here, uh, but I'm not going to get too uh, worked up about that for this knife. I'm confident that we will have no issues whatsoever. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, and I'm not even, I'm just going to do this real quickly. Uh, we're just going to test this old girl out. Um, I'm just going to, hopefully you guys can see all this. Um, I'm just going to color this edge real quick with a Sharpie like that. All I'm, all I'm doing here is just looking to find uh, the actual angle of the dangle here. Let me loosen this up. And all I'm going to do is take this off and I'm going to adjust this after. Let's, we're going to start up a little higher. Probably should have started with a lighter stone, but that's okay. I'm going to hold right there. I'm really, really close. Close enough for, for what I'm doing here. Um, now I'm going to kick this over. I'm just going to rotate real quick and just see if we're relatively close on the other side because I might split the difference. Oh, yeah. We're close enough. Okay. And all I'm doing there is just scratching off the um, Sharpie that I put on there. Okay. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and start sharpening this thing because this knife needed a tremendous amount of work. This is my wife's mini bug out and she is brutally uh, here. I'm actually going to rotate this this way. Yeah, here. Let me see if I can get it set up. Hopefully you guys can see this. This thing's got a huge, huge um, uh, chip in the blade. All right, so all I'm doing is, is I'm just going until I get a burr on the back side. Okay, so now I've got a burr on both sides. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna flip the knife back over. Uh, I've already done the first pass on both sides. And now what I am going to rotate this, put it in its little holder, and then I'm going to change the stone. So I'm gonna squeeze on the spring there, pull out the 150, and then what, what was the next one? A hundred, uh, 400, no, 220. I think I'm just gonna go straight to 400. We're gonna make this quick. Yeah, medium grit, 400. Perfect. Okay, so now I've got my uh, 400 grit edge on the first side. Let me rotate that out of the way. That stone holder is amazing. And let me flip this over. Now we're going to do our second side, 400 grit. Okay. 
Okay, so now I'm done with the 400 grit. We're gonna set that off to the side for a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and flip back. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna go 600 actually is what I'm gonna do. Okay. Okay, we'll just go ahead. I'm gonna pop this out of here like so. Now I'm gonna flip this back over. We'll just go ahead and lock it in. I'm gonna take the knife out of here. I tested this, uh, the sharpness on this bug out here a couple weeks ago uh, on a live stream. I don't remember what the actual uh, result was but it was terrible and pathetic because my wife uh is really really hard on her knives i'm gonna throw this clamp back on here real quick what we're gonna do i'm gonna move this off to the side for a moment i'm going to hit this just on a strop just real quickly all right just did a couple passes on the strop And this was just a real down and dirty just to put an edge back on this thing. So it can definitely be better. But let's just check it out real quick and just see. Because if I remember right, I think that this edge on here was like a 600 or 800 or something. It was something stupid. It desperately needed to be sharpened. Maybe even been over a thousand. I can't remember. Uh, I just know it was bad. Okay, here we go. Still got shrapnel all over the blade. This is basically just off the sharpener with just a couple strop passes, hopefully to remove the burr. I didn't even check, but let's see where we're at. Okay, so we got a one six zero which is a fantastic result, especially, I mean, the only stone progression that I did here was, uh, let's see, hopefully you guys can see these. Here, I'll put them in my hand. But just in the, or, in the interest of time, um, I just went ahead, I reprofiled with the 150 grit diamond, the coarse stone, and then I went straight to the F400, uh, and then fine at 600. So I went 150, 400, 600. And I can assure you this knife, this edge was terrible. Um, but we're definitely going to do a much more in-depth sharpening. This was really more just like a, a unboxing video. And then just because I had this knife sitting here and it desperately needed an edge put on it, uh, we went ahead and did that. So now I've got a good edge. Let me... If you guys can see it or not but it looks very very nice here's the deal guys like i said in the beginning of the video ts prov sent this to me i'll throw links up in the description where you can go to tsprov.com their website and if you use code ocd for edc five the number five so ocd for edc i'll throw it up on the screen here plus there'll be a link in the description five um, you will get 5% off anything that you purchase from TS Prov. So, you know, extra stones, um, the sharpening system itself. I can assure you that this is the, the highest quality sharpening system that I have seen to date. Uh, for a fixed angle system, um, this thing is really spectacular. It's absolutely beautiful. You know, the way that this system works is fantastic. Everything about it is just rock solid all the way out to the end of the clamps. And, you know, if you wanted to use an angle cube, there's flat spots all over this thing where you could use the angle cube as well. Right now, initial impressions, TS Prov with the Cadet Pro, this thing is something special. If you guys are looking for a really, really good quality sharpening system, TS Prov has got you covered. Um, not only that, this thing's going to look bitchin' sitting on the shelf, right? I mean, I know you can fold it up, but 
I think this thing deserves to uh, be left out in its glory. So when your friends come over, they can look at it and go, what the heck is that? It's pretty cool. So anyway, thanks so much, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Thanks so much to TS Prov for sending this. I'm really excited about getting to uh, uh, work with this more in depth. And like I said, I'll probably do three videos on this. Uh, this being the first. The second video, we'll go through all the sharpening stuff. Um, I'll show you how to use an angle cube and all those things and get it down to precision. And then on video three, we're pulling out all the stops. We're going to sharpen a knife to the best of my ability, as sharp as I can get it. Uh, and we'll see what kind of edge we can get out of this old girl. Thanks so much, guys. Stay tuned. There'll be some cool videos coming. One thing I forgot to bring up were the awesome stickers that they sent along. Uh, so we've got all sorts of TS Prov stickers here. The little ones that just say TS Prov, but then we've got Sharp Tongue. We've got Knight of Sharp Blade. We got Knife Maniac. Uh, what's this one? Maniac Street Sharpeners. If things get dull, sharpen them. Cut to the heart. Sharpen your mind. My favorite, the Cutting Kitty. <laughs> that one's great and then we got knife rider really cool uh thanks for sending the stickers those are awesome hopefully everybody gets the uh, stickers with their uh, ts prov purchase because there's definitely some cool ones on there but go check out ts prov use code ocd for edc5 get a discount you know follow the links down in the description and we will uh, catch you next time we're out of here peace